there. Um, I did not forget to continue on my video about how I've reduced my thyroid levels. Um, so I actually am gonna continue. I'm gonna elaborate on that now. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna compare my thyroid test levels from March 10th to one month later, um, which would be April 11th, uh, when I got retested after only one month of some lifestyle changes and uh, taking some vitamin, mineral, and uh, herbal supplement, an herbal supplement that I got from a Chinese alternative medicine doctor. Um, okay, so my original levels were my TSH, it's called, was at 6.470. It lowered to 2.590 a month later. The normal range is 0 0.450 to 4.500. So it was abnormally high. It was uh, outside of that range at 6.470 when I first tested. And after a month later, it was at 2.590, which is nicely in the normal range. It's, it's, it's very low, it's a lot lower. So then we have the thyroglobulin antibody, which I tested in March as having uh, it at 3.1. The normal range is um, 0 0.0 to 0.9. And a month later, my level of the thyroglobulin antibody measured at 1.9. So it's still not in the normal range, but there's a significant drop. And that is really, really good news. Um, the third uh, level that they test is called thyroid peroxidase or TPO and I originally started off with a somewhat normal range so it was at 15 whereas the normal range has to be between 0 and 34 so that was actually pretty good so that is what actually gave me the green light to take Chinese um, this Chinese herb because the, the Chinese doctor said that if your hypothyroidism is really a bad then you really do need to take the the synthetic thyroid supplement that the doctor prescribes. I picked up the thyroid supplement, but I never took it. My doctor doesn't know that. <laughs> Might know it now. But um, I kind of wanted to see if I could do it without it because uh, the problem is that once you start taking the, the synthetic thyroid hormone, what it does is depletes whatever thyroid hormone you have left in your body organically and you, you're dependent on the synthetic thyroid uh, medication for the rest of your life. And I'm not down with that. So anyway, um, I made some lifestyle changes. I stopped taking any of my ADHD medications, which were either Adderall or one called Vyvanse, because they, um, they deplete the adrenal glands and, um, and obviously the thyroid gland. Um, I have gotten a lot more sleep and I don't rush to do things uh, as much. I don't pressure myself. I take it easy, and that's why I was so late on getting you this video because I just don't pressure myself anymore to do stuff. Um, I'm just slowing down my lifestyle. Um, if you 